Today I'm exploring the Los Angeles County Arboretum and Botanic Garden. Let's go check it out. In 1880, Lucky Baldwin introduced peacocks, just like this one, from India. And clearly they're still here today. Whether you're enjoying the rose garden in spring, the citrus trees in summer, the changing of the leaves in fall, or the magnolia trees in winter, along with the moonlit garden, any season, it's a perfect visit to the botanic garden. The Arboretum was founded in 1947, and it formally opened to the public on January 9, 1955. There are 127 acres of gardens and natural landscapes here to enjoy. The coach barn behind me was designed to house Lucky Baldwin's private carriage collection, and it's a wonderful example of Victorian extravagance. The Victorian doghouse, just next to the barn, housed Lucky's bull mastiffs, which were the ranch guard dogs. There's so much to explore here, but one of my favorite places has to be the aquatic garden with the ponds, turtles, fish, and birds. It's a beautiful secret garden to explore. to see the sun and the water reflecting off the bamboo. It really is magical here. The waterfall is magnificent. Here at Crescent Farms, you can find out about local California plants that are drought tolerant and how you can grow them at home. While well, you'll enjoy the Southern California garden and landscapes here, there's an Australia section, Africa, you'll enjoy gardens from around the world. Whether you come for a cooking class, a gardening class, to take a picnic, or just find inspiration for your own backyard, you won't be disappointed here. The herb garden here showcases shrubs and herbs from around the world, used in cuisine, textiles, and for medicinal purposes. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. The Queen Anne Cottage was built in 1885 by Elias Lucky Baldwin, supposedly as a honeymoon gift for his fourth wife, who happened to be 16 at the time of their nuptials. The Arboretum is a wonderful place for people of all ages to come and experience plants and nature. It has a great focus on community outreach. Whether you take one of the many adult classes or bring the kids for camp and workshops, there's something for everyone here.
Thanks for joining me in exploring the Los Angeles County Arboretum and Botanic Garden. For more information, check out my blog at flyingdonreed.com. And until next time, I hope you find encouragement and adventure wherever you go. Bye. I do think it is their husband's fault, he flies to call. The Shakespeare Garden. It's the Shakespeare Garden. Oh, that doesn't work. That's dumping. <laughs> Private. Alright. It's things from around the world. Alright.